Hello, America. I've been to a place that's being torn to pieces. A place as nice as Vermont and Ohio and Virginia and Illinois and California lies ripped apart and bleeding like a steer in a slaughterhouse. I've seen things that make the history of savages read like Pollyanna legends. I've seen women and children get... Oh no. Looks like they're coming. Leave? Like hell I'm leaving. You want a story and we're gonna give it to them, damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, America, if at any time during that exchange I swore, as you can tell, I'm under a bit of stress. If you're wondering what that sound is, it's not something wrong with your radio or your stations. It's death. Rubble falling. Smoke rising, people fleeing, fire raining. If you think this is some kind of joke like War of the World, so... Oh, I wish it was. No, this is it. The real beginning of the real thing. The real War of the Worlds. The lights went out and it's dark. Honestly, I'm a little bit... America, this might sound silly, but I want you to look outside. I want you to look at those lights, whatever they are. Neon lights, city lights, street lights, I don't care. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I want you to promise me one thing. That you'll keep those lights shining. Shining like a mighty star, like an angel, like a beacon of hope standing there for the whole world to see. Keep those lights shining, America. They're the only ones left.